Hi, I am Jennifer McGuire and welcome to our About Seafood YouTube channel. Today we're going to be talking about seafood during pregnancy. We're going to talk about why seafood is so important during pregnancy, what types of seafood we should be eating, and how to stock a pregnancy-friendly pantry. Our guest is Nancy Paiho. Hello. She is a mom. Yep. She is the author of a wonderful book about feeding families called My Two-Year-Old Eats Octopus. So Nancy, we are both registered dietitians, yes. but more importantly, we're both moms. Yes. You have two sons and I have three, so five total. Right. It's a lot of work to feed our families. Tell me a little bit about what goes into life in the Paiho kitchen. Are you guys eating meals at home? Are you all eating together? What kind of eaters are your boys? Tell me a little bit about it. Well, that's a good question, Jennifer, and it's funny because I think yours are a little bit younger than mine. Yes. And the first thing I'll tell you is it does not get easier. So <laughs> you got all these boys and girls too, I'm sure, are the same way, but feeding the kids is, can be hard. And the hardest thing I'm finding now is just coordinating a time where everybody can eat together. Mm -hmm. We do still like to cook together, and we, I do like to have a good meal for everybody, but the biggest difference I've noticed is is that we don't all necessarily eat at the same time anymore. Yep. So maybe somebody will have dinner at 5.30, and then two of us will eat at 7, and then my older son will get home for practice at 8 o'clock. So I like to have one dish ready to go that everybody can kind of eat on as they have time to have dinner every night. Okay. And that way I know everybody's getting a good meal. Will they both eat the same thing, and how do you deal with that? My kids will eat anything because that's pretty much their option. So I just put food out, and um, the good thing is they do eat a lot of seafood, and I feel great about that because I know how good it is for them. But also, just the variety that it offers. Uh -huh. One night we can have salmon, one night we can have shrimp, and they yeah. think they're having two different things. Right. So <laughs> it's it's really a good a good way to um, accommodate a crazy schedule, which is what we have in our house a lot of times. <laughs> that makes sense. Yeah. So Nancy, seafood is one of those foods that just like fruits and vegetables, mm. people do not eat enough of, yes. especially during pregnancy. What is going on there? I know, it's, it's really um, a problem. Um, yeah. The recommendations say that everyone should be having two to three servings of seafood a week. Mm -hmm. Even the average American only gets half of that. Right. And with expectant mothers, the numbers are even worse. It's only like about a quarter of that mm. are getting the amount of seafood that they really need to have every week. Uh -huh. So it's something we need to work on. I think the biggest barrier is, is really two things. Number one is just familiarity. Mm -hmm. People just tend to default to what they know. And maybe right. they haven't had enough seafood in their life or they don't know enough about it. And the other thing is just not knowing what to do with it. And right. maybe being a little bit nervous about trying this new recipe or trying something with a piece of fish they've never had before. Mm -hmm. It just seems easier not to do it so they don't try. Mm -hmm. And I think those are the two biggest things. If we can just make a little bit of change there, people would be eating more seafood and getting the amount that they needed. People seem to intrinsically understand that fish is good for them. It's been called brain food for decades. And within the last several years, there's actually been a lot of scientific research to support that, showing that seafood is really important for pregnant women to eat, to boost their baby's brain development. Can you tell us a little bit more about why seafood is so important for pregnant women? I think you're right. I think people want to love seafood, and I think people have heard a lot of good news about it, but then also maybe they've heard some bad things too, and there's just a lot of confusion out there. Mm -hmm. um, so I think it's important to note two things. I mean. For the mom, there's a lot of research that shows that seafood helps with her overall health. It helps with her mood. It helps with different things going on in her body to support the pregnancy. Mm -hmm. But it also helps with the developing baby as well. In fact, one interesting statistic is research shows that if moms eat the recommended amount of seafood during their pregnancy, two to three servings a week, they will have babies who will actually meet their important milestones like holding their head up or climbing stairs more quickly than if their mom didn't have the recommended amount of seafood during pregnancy. Yeah, that's amazing. So I actually really craved seafood during pregnancy. This was kind of after the initial aversion to all foods went away. Right. Tuna and crackers kind of just always sounded good. Yeah. Are there any recipe or meal recommendations that you can give that might be especially appealing to pregnant women? Yeah, well here's, a, here's an easy way to think about it. Think about fish, fat and a carb. Put all of that together with, say, a package of tuna or um, some shrimp, and then add a healthy fat like an avocado and a piece of whole wheat toast oil. Mm -hmm. And it's a nice little lunch, a nice meal, and you've got a lot of nutrients packed in that one little dish. Mm -hmm. So that's such an easy equation because it's just three parts of the meal and you can throw it together in so many different ways. Are there any snack-specific examples of that that you can think of? 
sure, how about something like fish tacos mm -hmm. or a crab quesadilla? Again, you would use your, your fish as, as the base and then maybe add some cheese, nacho shells or taco mm -hmm. shells or something like that and you've got a wonderful little snack together with a lot of vitamins and minerals that you need during pregnancy. Yep, that's great because I know a lot of times pregnant women don't want to eat a big meal, especially kind of toward the end, something smaller. So that's a great way to get your fish in just a small quantity. That's right, with things like we always like with it, like cheese. Mm -hmm. <laughs> One of the questions that I get a lot is what are the best types of seafood that pregnant women should eat? Wow. Well, that's a great question because there are so many types of seafood, mm -hmm. right? And the good news is the best type is the one you, you eat and the one you like and the one you're going to eat on a regular basis because then you're going to eat it more often and mm -hmm. you're going to get the fit seafood that you need in your diet every week. All the most popular types of seafood sold in the United States are perfectly safe to eat during pregnancy. What about canned tuna? Oh, certainly. Canned tuna is a wonderful, easy, convenient, affordable way to get the seafood you need during pregnancy. And any kind of canned tuna, the, the white or the light tuna, is perfect for pregnant women. So there are a handful of fish that you should avoid eating during pregnancy because they're a little higher in mercury, mm -hmm. but most Americans rarely eat those anyway. Mm -hmm. Okay, so give us the scoop on mercury. Oh, uh, well, this is an issue that has really been studied a lot with pregnant women, mm -hmm. and all the research shows that fish has so many nutrients, so many vitamins, minerals, other important things that all of that far outweighs any risk that mercury might present. Let's talk about stocking a pregnancy-friendly pantry. Where in a pregnant woman's kitchen should we find fish? Well, you'd find fish in a lot of places, hopefully. Um, certainly you'd find it in the pantry where you can keep your canned fish or your pouch fish, your tuna and things like that. You'd find it in the refrigerator. Maybe you're gonna be having fresh fish that night. And then look in the freezer too, and that's a great place to just stock up and keep fish frozen for when you're ready to use it. So you had mentioned frozen fish. Let's talk a little bit more about that. Is it as nutritious as fresh and canned fish? And how do you defrost it? Frozen fish is absolutely as, as nutrient dense as any kind of fish because it's frozen as soon as it's caught. It's flash mm -hmm. frozen, so all of the minerals, the vitamins, all of the nutrients are preserved right, right away into the frozen product. So you just throw it into your freezer, and ideally you would have overnight to thaw it in the refrigerator, but there are certainly times we need to thaw more quickly, and to do that, just put it in a plastic bag and submerse it in some cold water for a little while until it, until it thaws. Easy. You are such a big proponent of introducing kids to a variety of foods from a young age. Tell us a little bit about feeding kids their first fish. Well, certainly fish should be included in the earliest of diets because that's how they're starting to get some of these important nutrients. Mm -hmm. But also, it's beginning to introduce them to taste and flavors that they will love and enjoy for the rest of their lives. It's really never too early to start with, with seafood um, as soon as you're feeding them solid food, which with most pediatricians, that's around six months or so. Mm -hmm. So as long as you don't have a history of um, allergies or any kind of seafood allergies in your family, mm -hmm. go ahead and start. Mm -hmm. And um, maybe add a different one every week or every couple of days or whatever, just to make sure as you're introducing it that your baby is beginning to accept the new flavors and, and is, is really having fun trying these new, these new varieties of foods. So you fed your babies seafood. Are they big seafood eaters now? Do you see the payoff? I do, I do. I see it so much now, and, and I did. I fed my kids seafood from their earliest eating days, mm -hmm. and um, now they love it. They, they do. They love seafood in so many different ways. Um, we love it at the beach when we're there in the summer. We love it in casual snacks with things like tuna, an after-school quick snack when they just need a quick boost of protein. Mm -hmm. And then the, the dinners we cook together. And they We eat everything from what they call the fancy meals when we might have a nice baked salmon, just to something very casual, like a stir fry or something mm -hmm. like that. And um, they, they love seafood in so many forms now. And I really do trace it back to the fact that they've been eating it their whole lives. Mm -hmm. What are some of the things that you really wish, just the key things that moms-to-be knew about fish? Well, first I think it's important that they know that it's never too early to start your, your children on seafood and, and yourself on seafood too, because uh -huh. we as dietitians know that the research shows that seafood is an important food to eat throughout your entire lifespan, right? With heart health and so many other kinds of things. So seafood does play such an important role to your developing baby, your young baby, and also your children as they grow up. Mm -hmm. And of course, it's never too late to start. If yes. your kids haven't been eating seafood in their younger years, go ahead and try it now. Um, and there are, again, so many ways to get seafood into their diet. Put it on a pizza, put it in a salad, 
put it in pasta that they're eating, or maybe mm -hmm. give them a fish taco or a new burger that was or something. That's my gateway seafood. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Sometimes I think it helps if you pair it with other foods that they like. You know, kids love things like cheese, so try fish nachos or mm -hmm. fish tacos. Introduce them to the new flavors mm -hmm. and see if they don't like it. It mm -hmm. might surprise you. So in summary, the sooner the better for eating fish. There's such a wide variety out there that can appeal to both pregnant women, babies, and older kids, right. like preteens and teenagers. Right. And the benefits of seafood really last a lifetime. Yes. Let's talk about resources for a second. Um, we obviously have this About Seafood YouTube channel. Mm -hmm. Where else can women go if they want to start eating more fish and feeding more fish to their families? Well, two of my favorite websites are fishduringpregnancy.com mm -hmm. and dishonfish.com, which okay. has terrific recipes yep. and just great ways to incorporate fish easily into your lifestyle. Because as we've talked about, it doesn't have to be complicated. It doesn't have to be hard. It should be fun and tasty. And then of course, there's my book, My Two-Year-Old Eats Octopus, Raising Children Who Love to Eat Everything, uh -huh. which talks a lot about fish and seafood, but also has a lot of other good tips for raising healthy eaters that hopefully will last throughout their lifetime. Yep, I read your book before I even had kids, and it's been such a wonderful resource for me. Oh, well, thank you. Thank you so much for joining us today, Nancy. You're yeah. such a wealth of information and it's great to hear about your experience feeding your family and thank you so much for tuning in please let us know if there's any other topics about pregnancy seafood nutrition you'd like us to cover and don't forget to like subscribe and comment